Hey, this is Jared. Um, I'm here with a 17 inch AOC Spectrum V7LR. I know that's a mouthful. Um, this is a CRT from the late 90s. It was actually manufactured on Halloween. I like to think Halloween evening, probably morning. Uh, Halloween 1998. So it is just over 24 years old. It had a birthday a few weeks ago. Um, so it's, it's looking great for its age. It's not really yellowed anywhere. Um, I can't find anything really wrong with it. Maybe a little bit of tape residue in some places. Uh, it, it's a really neat monitor. So um, out of the box, it, it defaulted to some crazy low resolution and it looked abysmal. And I thought, oh gosh, you know, this is just some, uh, uh, you know, 800 by 600, like 60 FP, uh, Hertz max monitor. I was really nervous. And uh, then I started digging into it, open up my control panel in NVIDIA. And I've, uh, I got it up to 1440 by 1080, really um, high resolution. I game at that resolution um, on, on my main CRT at uh, 80, uh, se I'm sorry, 75 hertz. Um, this one will get 60 at that resolution, but it will do 85 hertz at 1024 by 768. So uh, that's a very usable resolution. And matter of fact, that's what I'm on right now. And I don't see jagged lines uh, or, or really any jankiness. The, the menu is uh, anti-aliased in this game. This is Risk of Rain. The game itself is not anti-aliased, I don't believe. There's At least there's no setting for it. So um, I'm not running any sort of anti-aliasing in the uh, NVIDIA experience. Uh, I, I haven't, you know, I'm not really gonna spend that much time on it, screwing with it, um, because I gotta say when I'm playing this, there is zero motion blur. Uh, the colors just pop. There's a really good contrast between the darks and the and the and the lights. Um, it, it just looks great. And, and again, my biggest complaint in gaming is motion blur. I, I I cannot stand motion blur. It drives me insane. It's what got me into CRT gaming to begin with. And uh, there there's zero. I mean, there's no matter how fast I move, you're not going to see it on camera because you probably know that. On camera, CRTs look terrible, but in person, it's buttery smooth. You don't see the scanning at all. Again, this is 85 hertz. Um, I have it at V-Sync, and so there's no there's no screen tearing. It, it just looks phenomenal. And uh, even at a low, by today's standards, a low resolution, you know, barely barely higher than 720p, um, this looks phenomenal. I, I would say, in, in my opinion. If I were to be gaming, if I had to choose between this and, uh, you know, a, a 1440, 27 inch LCD, I, I would still choose this because it just, um, I can get a, a smoother gaming experience because I have fewer pixels to render and, and, and process. Uh, so I, I can use slightly older hardware. I'm, I'm driving this with a GTX 970 actually, because it has an analog out. I don't need a, any sort of converter. So it, it works really well uh, for me. And the, even that older hardware playing games like Modern Warfare 2, the one that just came out, I'm still uh, locked at 75 FPS, which is, you know, at on my main monitor, that's my max refresh rate. So I, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Hertz, that's my, that's my refresh Hertz. So I, I'm doing really, um, uh, 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 really well in, in that respect. So anyway, this monitor is, I, I know you can't really see it on from camp, the camera here, but it's, it's nice. So here on my right is uh, my ultra wide. It's a 1080p ultra wide, um, 21.9 ultra wide. I, I use it just for productivity. Here off camera, I have uh, a 16 by nine, um, 24 inch monitor that's in land uh, portrait mode. But if I were uh, my, my 24 inch in portrait mode, and I believe this is 29 inches or so in ultra wide, these two monitors are both physically the same height. So if you if you know uh, where the 24 inch uh, widescreen monitor kind of sits in terms of height, uh, this 17 inch monitor is about an inch and a half shorter, right? The, the viewable area is about an inch and a half shorter. So it's 17 inches um, in, in the diagonal. And it, I'm not really feeling feeling like I have to lean in or squint to really worry about, um, you know, not being able to see much. So it's, it's, it's really nice in that regard. It's, um, not too small. So 17 inches is definitely very usable. And I use my, my daily driver is a 19 inch and, uh, going from that to this, 
at 17 inches, I gotta say, I can't really say that it's really that big of a deal. It's, it, it doesn't detract. So I, I use a 19 inch uh, CRT and uh, this 17 inches is, I'm not wanting for anything. It, it's just fine. I would be happy uh, to, to game on this, uh, no, no problem at all. So um, yeah, really fantastic monitor. It, it works really well. Um, this one is going to be listed for sale. So um, shortly after the, I upload this video, I'm going to make a, a listing on eBay for it. it it's in great condition. Uh, the colors pop. I don't have to bump up the brightness uh, to do anything sort of extreme to, to uh, make it visible. I know in some old CRTs are so dim that you have to come in here and really crank on like contrast and gamma and digital vibrance and really, you know, kind of mess around with a lot of the settings to create an image that's viewable. I just plug this in and on all the default settings, it's extremely vibrant. Uh, the contrast is really good. So just quote unquote out of the box, it, it seems to be in great condition and probably wasn't used, but just to sit in someone's living room, checking emails. So it's a great monitor. Um, so again, 17 inch, it's gonna be on eBay. It's an AOC Spectrum 7VLR. And uh, I hope you got some useful information out of this. If you, uh, maybe this one's already sold, but you're looking at a, another listing right now for the same monitor and you're wondering if you should get it or not. Um, yeah, I would say definitely worth it. Uh, if, if you're looking to get into CRT gaming and um, you know, 17 inches is that is, is the kind of target size you're looking for, I would say you'd be really well suited with this monitor just because at a very usable resolution of 1024, by 768, you're getting 85 Hertz. I mean, that's a really good refresh rate. And, and I'm sure that if I crank the resolution down even lower, you know, I could probably come in here and find something, uh, some way to get uh, an even lower, um, or I'm sorry, even higher refresh rate if I made like some custom settings. So if you wanted to play, you know, Super Mario on 240p at, you know, 100 Hertz, you might, if, you, if you're a wizard, you might figure it out. But um, as for me, I'm happy with what it can do out of the box, and uh, I, I hope that uh, you found this information helpful. Thank you.